Welcome, it's nice to see you. I uploaded the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity to MagtheSims.info about two weeks ago and since then it reached more than 1000 downloads. I am very happy about it and this is why I wanted to celebrate it with you and wanted to share some background information about this building, how I came up building it in the first place and which decisions went into making it. Dresden in Germany is one of the most beautiful cities and many iconic buildings are standing right here. One of my favorite buildings here is the cathedral. Not only because it's a very beautiful building, but it has also a very unique history to it. When the elector of Saxony wanted to become king of Poland, he had to be elected. It was not a democratic election, of course, it was more a matter of whom you we were friends with, who you bribed, and one of the major conditions was also that he had to become Catholic. This was a big deal back then, because Saxony was a Protestant state. So when he converted to the Catholic faith, it was quite a scandal. Problem was that he now also had to build a Catholic royal court church. So it was quite visible. When they started building it, they only referred to it as a big building near the castle and never mentioned it was the Catholic Church. These circumstances greatly influenced the architecture of the building. Catholic people were not allowed to show their beliefs in public and this is why we have an inner walkway inside the building meant for processions. On festivity days like Pentecost, the processions could take place inside the church unseen from the public. And you see this walkway repeated on the balcony. This is why the nave is not directly connected to the spire. So the unique design of the church derives from its history, which makes it, in my opinion, very interesting. When I started building this church, I looked at the real floor plans and tried to recreate them as closely as possible, and it took many attempts to get the shape right. Also, there weren't many suitable decorative objects within the game, this is why I took a year off until recent feature packs delivered the objects I needed. The cathedral now features over 100 seats and in each corner you find a smaller chapel. My goal of this building was to make it a believable religious space and this is why I stuck very closely to the original building within the limits of the game of course. A problem I see with big buildings like this is that they all look very pretty but offer not much playable value. This little bridge leads towards the mansion. The original building also has a little bridge like this, connecting the church with the castle. The idea was that the king could enter the church unseen from the public. The royal castle would have been too big for the slot and the mansion is a complete fantasy. It features all you need for big social festivities, a big entrance hall, a dining hall, a kitchen of course, and a withdrawing room. When it came to decorate the surroundings, I firstly imagined a park, but it looked far too fairy tale like I then felt it was a good place to fit in a cemetery. This idea inspired me so much it got completely out of hand. I created over 70 unique graves and each grave has a certain story to it. So if you look at a grave, you can see what kind of person could lie there or how this person is remembered by the people who remain. This might sound a bit worrisome, but I really got so much positive energy out of it. <laughs> the city of Dresden was heavily devastated during World War II, but the Royal Court Church somehow survived. It was severely damaged, but the delicate spire stood nearly unharmed. This is what saved it from further destruction during the communist era. Therefore, for me, the church is a symbol of strength and perseverance. So, these are my thoughts about the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity in Dresden. I hope you enjoyed my little video, and if you did, let me know in the comments Maybe I will find time to share more of my creations with you in the future. Have a nice day. Thank you.